Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you hyper aggressive attacking game played in 2019 at Cairns Cup with white pieces playing Russian chess grandmaster Valentina Gunina and her opponent is French chess grandmaster Marie Sebak. Let's see what happened on the board. Gunina opened up with e4 and Sebak responded with Sicilian defense c5. Knight f3 d6, d4 c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and a6. Black goes for knight or variation and a rare move knight b3. White is voluntarily moving back her knight on b3, avoiding any possible later exchanges on d4, e6 and against this Scheveningen type formation we have g4, we have something like Keras attack, right? b5, meanwhile black proceeds with her counterplay on the queen side, g5, knight d7, bishop g2, bishop b7, and this time we have f4, knight c6 and another pawn push, this time we have h4. Yes, Gunina is playing very aggressively but this is a double-edged choice and she has to be careful because if black can defend successfully then white can find herself overexposed. Knight b6, meanwhile black is bringing her knight on this attacking c4 square, queen g4, b4, knight e2, knight c2 and white castles king's side. a5 c3, white wants to free this c3 square for the knight, e5, f takes e5, d takes e5, and as white managed to open up the f file we have queen f3 with a direct mating threat, queen c7, c takes b4, knight takes b4, and already white can activate her knight, knight c3, a4, and this time we have knight b5. This is a very provocative move, with the help of which white wants to lure away black queen and capture on f7. And so far so good, Marie Sebag was playing excellently, but it was in here that she made a mistake and played queen d7. Instead of playing queen d7, it was better either to play queen e7 or queen b6 check and then capture on b5. If Queen takes f7 check then king d8 and the players have equal chances, a similar line we will see in our main game. But in our game after knight b5 we have queen d7, yes although still Belek is protecting the pawn on f7 and at the same time is attacking the knight on b5, but the problem with this move is that now this queen d7 allows white to switch her bishop into the attack with a tempo. Bishop h3 is on the board. Queen takes b5 and we have queen takes f7 check. Unlike the previous variation which I showed where black could go for immediate queen b6 check and then capture on b5. In our main line already the bishop is on h3 square is successfully covering this h3 c8 diagonal and this makes a huge sense. Here Gunina captured on f7, king d8 and g6, another powerful move. With this move Gunina is freeing this g5 square for her dark squared bishop. h6, black is acting against bishop g5 check and a fantastic answer by Gunina, bishop takes h6. White is simply exploiting the vulnerability of these pieces and at the same time is freeing the first rank for the rook. Black accepted the sacrifice and captured on h6. By the way, rook takes h6 is not a good idea because already the bishop is not protected and black can lose his pieces one after another. That's why after bishop takes h6, fg takes h6. And rook a d1 check, although g7 was even stronger. Knight d5, but let's also cover the line with bishop d6. Then in this case white pawn can step forward and if rook e8 then in this case knight a5 is very strong. The idea is to lure away the rook from the 8th rank. Here of course black can't capture on a5 with the knight because will lose her bishop on d6 and capturing on a5 with the queen is impossible because black can get checkmated. That's why if black captures on a5 with the rook then in this case queen takes e8 check is coming and if queen takes e8 then rook f8 and white is winning. In case you didn't understand the idea of first playing knight a5 let's go for 
queen takes e8 check straight away instead of playing knight a5 then in this case black can recapture with the queen and if rook f8 then black can play king c7 the rook is on the eighth rank and in this case it's black who is winning let's go back but in our main game after rook d1 check instead of playing bishop d6 we have knight d5 and we have it g7 look at this beast on g7 guys bishop takes g7 was played queen takes g7 and a takes b3 the second knight also drops but in here instead of capturing on h8 gunina played rook f7 she's looking for a quick checkmate a very creepy move for example now if a move like b takes a2 then black king can get checkmated on the spot after rook f7 Maurice Sebak announced a check from c5 and after king h2 played king e8 but in here Gunina made a move and black resigned. Can you find her next move? Ready? This time she played rook f8 check and black resigned. With this move white is freeing the 7th rank for the queen. For example if rook takes f8 or queen takes f8 then queen d7 checkmate is coming what a game i already forgot how many sacrifices we saw in this game but one thing i know for sure that this game was simply astounding in the end as usual would like to ask you to solve a chess puzzle please take a look at this position and try to find the winning line for white i will wait for your answer in the comment section Thanks for watching, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads, I will see you in my next video, take care.